Hi everyone, it's Delta from the Surfer Bros, and here we are with our first tutorial on pistons. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at piston lighting uh, with a special feature to it. Instead of just on or off with piston lighting, we're also adding the third option to have a third alternative setup, which we'll show you now. So I've made a little hut for this setup over here, just to demonstrate our lighting condition. So we have three. Uh, Inputs so or output, sorry, as you can see, and we have one input which is the lever. So we can have uh, a glowstone lighting. We can have it outside, so we can see outside. And we also have our off feature. And what this allows us to do is to shut it off completely by double clicking on the lever itself, and it will shut off the lever as such, and you can't see outside at all. So it's using repeaters, so we can actually have this third option by having an alternative output and to get to the stage you, you can only do it on the outside um, which we'll see you soon so we can't go to the close turn first and simply double click it that doesn't work as such so we'll quickly go around the back just to show you some of the wiring uh, it's kind of hard to see but here is our input um, it comes by lever and it goes into a junction and the junction splits off into three um, different areas we have one going to this set of pistons over here which controls the left we have one to the right and then we have one in the middle that controls two sets but um, we're going to refer to one set now this middle that controls the closed stone or outside um, so up or down is controlled by this double clicking will actually um, then put these into action which will then move the uh, sandstone across and the way it does this is that this repeater will hold um, a current slightly before it sends it out, um, being on the uh, second notch. Um, and if we can click it fast enough, um, this um, set of repeaters, uh, sorry, this set of pistons will not get its current in time, and these will go around and override it. So, we're going to quickly show you actually how to build this. It's fairly easy uh, to do, so we'll get to a nice location and start. Okay, found a nice location where we can build. First of all, we're going to go over the tools that you'll need. So you'll need a basic um, tool, such as your spade uh, and pickaxe, depending on what blocks you use. Um, I'm going to be using sandstone for my structure. You'll need some redstone torches. You'll need some redstone dust, rep repeaters. You'll need an input source, such as a lever, lever, um, or a pressure plate, or what have you. It's up to you. And you'll need sticky pistons, I'm making sure they're sticky, otherwise this will not work. And of course, glowstone. So to build this, we're going to find a center point for where you want to put your setup. I'll put mine right here and place a torch. As simple as that. We want to place a block on top of that. On top, if I can get it. Yep. And this will be our center column, which the pistons run off. So, looking into the torch, place three pistons. I can get it right on top of each other. That is I'm not having the best day. There we go, <laughs> and then place another three on each on the other side. Again, not the best. There we go. And then you notice these top two are not powered. Um, we can fix this by placing redstone dust up here, which will then put the current up. Uh, we will, our blocks will go here, so we've, we've got glowstone stone up against here, and then we've got sandstone. Just to make it easier, we'll place our pistons first, so two blocks away from the extended piston, so one, two, and on the third one, place your piston stack again. Again, three blocks away, or on your third one, sorry. I'll place the stack again. And then on the inside pistons, place glowstone. And then place sandstone and the rest, whatever block you want. That's the basic setup. Um, now we need to power these side pistons as well, so placing a block here, 
putting a torch underneath and then sandstone on top, uh, redstone on top and the exact same on the other side. So there we have it all powered up. We now need to wire it up into a central junction so we can do this by creating a two wide trench at each interval, so each at each torch as such. Oops, on one. Just gotta get my block. There we go. And we we can now run our wires. So on each side one, um, we want to have a redstone dust wire going straight into the block down there. And then on the other side, we'll do the exact same. Straight wire out. And then for the middle, it's slightly different. We have a torch here instead, and then a simple wire. Now, straight after it, we have redstone uh, uh, wiring, and then a repeater. Repeater set onto the second notch for this to work. Now we simply run all our wire together. And test it out. Place some redstone wiring. Now that's the glowstone, that's outside, and double click, that's off. So that's the basic setup all done um, of all the wiring. So you would now um, simply uh, enclose a wall around here. Um, your glass will be going on the where it's open, so we'll just open it up. So, on the other side, we would have your glass here, and then you have the rest of your wall. We'll demonstrate. Sorry, I've got inventory edit, which is a great tool. And we can get some glass wherever it is. Uh, sorry, it's over here. And glass is up. And on the other side, we'll put sandstone. And you continue this along all around here. And then same setup. Oops. What a waste of glass. pretty much it and then you carry it along. That's the uh, setup. That's pretty much it. Um, you can sink it in at one level like I've done over here so you can cover it up which is pretty easy. So all you have to do is sink the whole thing um, and then add another torch in here for each thing. That's pretty much it guys. Um, if you have any more tutorials that you would like to see on this channel please send them in by PM or comment. I'm happy to do more, as you can see, um, I'm in my testing world and I have a, a fair bit of pissing contraptions and tutorial worthy stuff over here, so I'm going to be shooting out some tutorials very very soon, so subscribe for more, and like I said, if you want any other ones, please feel free to comment. That's pretty much it, so this is Delta out, um, <laughs> and this is the Safer Bros channel, so stay tuned for very much more. See you guys.